All right, so we finished up with this one. Um, I think I've shown you everything on here. Exhaust, air intake. So that's just one style. Now let's go to another one that I've done. And I'll show you another version. You can do what you want to do. You can make it, I mean, you can make it out of anything. I made one of these out of video return box, actually. And it works really well. So there's my video return box. I'll show you that a little bit later on. Here's here's the lightest one I made. This one actually, remember on that other one I told you I cut that tank apart and cut the stainless steel tank out? Well, this is the stainless steel tank I cut, I took out. So, uh, so I'm using this for another one. This was a wood burner. I turned it in, and actually all these were wood burners. I turned into drip heaters. So, let's see if I can get the light to come on here. All right, so now this one, this one has a burn bowl. Let me take this baffle, this baffle out. Because this one has a burn bowl. And you're better off to do it with a burn bowl. So I've raised the burner up instead of it going right on the, on the bottom of the tank. I've raised it up. And again, it's just a galvanized piece of pipe. I use muffler pipe in this case. It's got a little bit of a turn down. And then your burner plate is just basically a five inch circle with something welded about two inches below or one inch below, no spiff, anything will really work, um, below where the air pushes out and the oil drips out. So you're not blowing air right on your oil and cooling it off. So that's the purpose of the burn plate. And then you got a burn bowl that actually um, creates an inferno in there and I'll probably start this up for you here in a little bit but um, same principle exhaust out air intake in so I ran outside air so I'm not reheating inside air blowing it up snack stack so I've got one fan that actually feeds both units so two inch and a half comes down here to my burner tube which is my burner tube, which goes into the bottom of my tank. So, again, just a 90 hooked up to my blast air barbecue tank, water separator valve, quarter inch valve controlling the fuel into my burn tube. Now, this one I actually came out the side, which I think I like better. And um, that way I can keep this drip 90 down lower and I'm not pushing everything higher so that's pretty much it on this one you got uh, the tank is full so I've got my tank this is just an extra tank sitting here Get out of the way. so I already had that on a base those two holes I actually left in there because they didn't really hurt anything I had those cut in there when I was blowing wood but here's your baffle the plate so, which I find adding these in there tweaks it and gets it burning 100%. It just helps the airflow go out and burn better. So, I've always adding, I've always been adding a baffle here. So the baffle just slides in. Pretty much where you want it. Pretty easy to slide. So now, so now I can actually slide this out around like that and get to my burn bowl. So now these burn bowls have to be cleaned out. I usually just dump them, turn them over, slam them on the concrete, and the debris pops out. That's one thing I like about the burn bowl. Is you're not having to clean underneath the tank, down in the tank. So you just take the burn bowl out. And this burn bowl is actually a Freon can cut in half and that's the bottom half of the Freon can so everything I've been using pretty much is just debris now to start this thing what I usually do is I get some gasoline um, pour that in there because 
for one it's quick burn you can use diesel you're basically trying to what you're trying to do is heat up uh, see everybody's using my gas nice nice so everybody's used up my gas so I'm gonna have to walk over here get another can of gas By the way, that was my gas for my chainsaws that have oil in them. So I fused up that, all that. So typical. Now I'll probably walk over here in my. Here's where I keep all my oil reservoir. Pumped out of a 300 gallon tank outside. But this is where I keep my oil storage oil. Alright, so yeah. So I'll probably walk over here and find that my lighting torch is gone too. Typically is every time I gotta do something. So, okay. So I'm gonna dump gasoline. All right. So I've dumped some gasoline down in the burn bowl. Probably see it's wet. Now I'm going to turn on some oil, and you could turn it on kind of heavy when you first start, just to get some going through there. And then you want to kind of bring it back to about that, where it's going to burn. And then now I'm on the hunt for my torch. Which nobody ever leaves in the same place, by the way. Yeah. See, torch. I got two of these. And good luck finding one of the two. You never know where they're going to be. All right, so... Now we've got oil dripping in there for a little while. We've got gas in the tank. So I'm gonna light this thing. Okay. Um, obviously once it gets hot, don't use gas anymore. You can use diesel fuel if, it, if the flame goes out. But if you put gas in a hot container, even though there's no fire, it vaporizes it. And then when you go to light it, dude, it's gonna blow out about three foot in your face. So be careful. Now I've got the baffle slid to the side. I've got no air going to the combustion chamber just yet. So basically what I'm waiting for is the, um, waiting for the oil to heat up a little bit. And then I'll put the air to it. So the reason for the gas really is just to pre-ignite the oil, get it a little warm. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna plug in my, air intake, air combustion air, okay, now here's the difference, combustion air, okay, now I am losing some heat out the top, right, so for a while, until you get your oil and air mixture right, which I probably could have eliminated this by adding less oil in there. So right now I'm letting some of the oil burn down and heat up. And if I close this damper, see how it eliminates part of that bit? Now that, that right there will go away here in a little bit. And you can eliminate that by adding less oil in there. Just put a little bit gas the same, a little bit of oil, let it kind of start burning and it'll burn that off real quick. Right now I've probably got a little bit too much oil in there. So it's trying to keep up with it and it can't. So my exhaust theoretically is probably gonna be blowing some smoke out, which is right through that window. You can't really see it, but it, it would have a little bit of black unused burn oil in it. All right, so my fire is settling down. If I close this door, it helps even more. 
Now, I'm thinking maybe somebody had some oil in this thing already, is what I'm thinking, because you get way too much smoke out of this for the amount of oil I put in there. So, somebody probably had let this run a little while while the fan, while the burner wasn't working and filled the bowl up a little bit with oil, but you can see it's kind of settling down now. Um, I've got good heat. Um, I've got good heat coming out. I've actually got no oil going in it right now. So it's pretty much got to where it's burning the extra oil out. You can see no no vapor. Now I'll come over here and crank this up a little bit and this will maintain. If you start building up too much oil, they have a capacity that they, there's so much oil they can burn off. And then once they go beyond that, they, they can't burn off enough oil to keep it smoke free. So you got to kind of keep this regulated to where it's the right ratio. But once you get going, you can pretty much walk away from this thing and just keep make sure your oil tank keeps filled up. So I should be getting some oil in there here shortly. Let's see if we can watch it. Watch it. Watch it hit. starting to get see how it cranking up now the oil just hit the burner plate that's what your turbo air does right there it circulates around that bowl and gives you complete combustion and that's what you want right there so I'm gonna close the baffle plate close the door and that's my heat, used oil. So, combustion air. All right, so let's go over, let's go over to my video return box that I've made. Video return, this is actually an old video return. Remember the cas uh, cassettes, eight track cassettes? This is what they used to put your video returns in when you came to the store and they had a door up here that I've welded off now that you stick your videos in. So I made this, this was actually a wood fireplace. Um, I welded off the top and so I switched this to a oil burner too as well. It just goes out a little higher. Same exhaust air, or a turbo air comes in. Same, same principle. Bleeds into my pipe, my drip tube. This one, I've got dual tanks because it burns a little bit more oil and it burns obviously a little more hotter this is bigger so I've got water uh, valves on the bottom to separate water separated valves to separate if it gets any water in there there's a bowl burn bowl that I've actually got extra that I burned the other day with a plasma torch so it goes in the back of the unit over here this is where the blow tube goes in Here's my drip tube where the oil comes in. And here's where my blast air comes in. Okay, so let me show you the inside of this thing. Again, the baffle. The baffle basically just directs the air away from the door. And in here, there's your burn bowl. Burn bowl. So you probably need one of these new every year because they, they wear out. So just basically bam. 